Hi, I'm L from elbowpepper.com. Today I'm answering a question from Julia who saw a walkthrough that I did and was wondering what I did to secure my trellis to the top of my chain link fence. By doing so, this has enabled me to extend the reach of the beans, the runner beans, that I'm going to be training to go up this fence. And instead of maybe around four feet, I'm able to actually get them six feet up, and uh, that's a nice improvement and so I'm going to show what I was doing to get that in place and also give a quick overview of some of the other trellising things that I'm trying this year. I haven't really done much with trellising before so this is definitely an improvement for me and I think that it's a great way to maximize your space especially in an urban environment where you don't have much so going up is the way that you can grow even more. Let's look at what I did here and uh, maybe this may be something that can help you too. To get started, let's look at the materials that I used. I bought some trellis material that was already pre-made. Bought it off of Amazon. The link will be below in the information in the video. And I'll show you later, I did hand make a little bit of some trellis myself and I determined that this is definitely the better way to go. This stuff is definitely money well spent when compared to trying to make it yourself. So uh, this is a three and a half inch by three and a half inch mesh that I'm using. They also have a mesh that isn't as tight, but this is what I wanted to use. And in addition to getting your trellis material, you're going to need some zip ties and a little bit of some extra cord. I'm using uh, polyester cord and you definitely have to have a support, a vertical support. And so what I used are these garden stakes. So now let's look at how I set all of this up. Right up along the fence here is where I have this. The first thing that I did was I put my garden stakes up along these main posts of my chain link fence and then I zip tied right here zip tied very tightly and secured these garden stakes they're only starting about this far down and covering that much area and then the rest is just going vertical here to get me extra reach but after I put in about three of these then I decided that it was best to have one in between too. So on this particular stretch of fence, I have five garden posts and they're all secured to the chain link fence. And then I stretched my trellis material, which actually hung way down, but I just lined it up at the top, stretched it as far as I could. And then I began to zip tie it up to these stakes and after I had it pretty well secured pulled nice and tight the whole way across then I came in and I trimmed off all the extra amount that was hanging down that way I could use that for something else now I pulled this really tight and as soon as you start to do that what happens is from the ends these want to just lean in so my last step was to compensate for that lean of this wanting to just pull inward by putting my extra piece of cord and tying it real tight right here and then pulling it as, as tight as I could and tying into the chain link fence here it's kind of like setting up a volleyball net so that's all that I did and now I gain an extra two feet of height on the length of this fence, which is a very nice improvement. So um, while we're checking out this, let me just show you a couple other things I have going on before we wrap it up. Right here I have a spaghetti squash that I'm running up a very short trellis just to try to get some extra reach instead of having it sprawling all over the ground uh, try to get that growth upward and I use the same netting material that I showed you I use zip ties to secure it but I used 
this PVC frame that I built just using some basic PVC and use some elbows and then this is secured uh, at the bottom here using these clamps as you see I didn't try to secure this to the actual plastic tote but I anchored it on a more sturdy surface and below so uh, it's doing well so far and I think that's going to be a, a nice quick little trellis thing that uh, is going to work out pretty well for this let me show you something else that I did over here where I'm going to be trying to have a couple watermelon plants growing I also built a trellis and I used the PVC type of frame idea again but this was the very first one I had built and when I did this I actually had drilled holes the whole way along here evenly spaced and using that polyester cord that I showed you earlier in that spool I ran one continuous string going vertical one going horizontal and I would take it here go into a hole come around from there and come up and then just did that the whole way across but uh, as I would get to the point of where these intersect I actually tied off a knot and, and knotted this that way this doesn't slip and so I by hand made my own trellis which turned out pretty nicely however it was more labor intensive than I feel like messing with and that's what prompted me to get my own trellis material but I think that this will work pretty well so let me show you my last trellis that I'm using for this season towards the top of this planter I have a row of runner beans that are going up this trellis too and I was able to stretch this it's one continuous piece of uh, trellising material from the same pack that I had showed you earlier and this is using the full height of that material and I use zip ties to secure it to this PVC frame that I built and I just have it leaning here up against the wall and one thing I did differently on this one this is a pretty big trellis and if you've worked with PVC when you use the very thin the half inch uh, PVC pipe that stuff can be pretty sturdy in short lengths but when you're spanning a very long distance it's more flexible than you may realize and it's going to want to sag or it can bow so I used a thicker diameter pipe for something like this and I think that this has worked very well it's held its shape and beans are already taking off so hopefully we'll have some weather that's conducive for these things to grow but uh, in the meantime everything's set up for them to be able to stretch out and hopefully fill up this whole wall with some nice greenery so Julia hopefully that answered your question uh, using trellises like I've done here what I've done is just the tip of the iceberg you can find a lot of other really cool ideas and ways to implement these things in your landscape so definitely when you get to that point employ those and you'll maximize the yield that you can get in your small urban garden or even if you have a lot of space there's still a lot of times where a trellis is what you want to use to grow whatever you're growing so if this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and happy gardening.